Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for Heyday and Heyday Pop videos. Now for today's video I'm going to be heading on over to my big farm and doing some designing. I got asked recently to show how to make some gates within the actual game, especially for some of the actual outhouse style buildings. They liked what I did with my tenth. They know that I actually enjoy checking out some of the outhouse style hotel buildings that people create. And they've asked me to go through some ideas just to help them out as well. And that's what I'm going to be doing. So if we head on over to my little design area, I've laid out some pieces already for you as you can see. Now, in this case they relate to gateways or arches or sometimes like the caravan down there as well. You've got some fountain pieces, there's some hurdles there, you've got some trees and some other decoration that come within the game. I've also got an example of a building uh, with a doorway style entrance and I've used some of the production machines. Now, at the end of the day, it's very, very important that you do try to mix and match certain pieces of the game together. Now, I know a lot of people don't like the decorations. For me, the decorations take up zero storage space on my actual storage within the game. They're in the hidden storage along with many other features, uh, and I like to have them there. Whenever I get the chance to buy decoration, if I can afford it, I definitely do so. Yeah, but that's not always the case. This year I've missed out on a few really good pieces, but like I said, family and finances come first on that side. So if you would like to support my channel, please make sure you do hit that subscription button or the bell notification. The more people that come and watch my videos, the better it is, because I do monetize my videos and I thank you for watching. Right, well, let's get on to the video itself. Now, as you can see, I've got some buildings down there, and I'm using the outhouses. I've got some path pieces, walls down there, so that's one idea. Now, in the case of the actual doorway or the archway there, I'm using the Japanese Tori gates, and they can be very, very cool indeed. The more of these that you add together, you can create a very, very high entrance piece itself. Now, it's a shame we don't have any actual black path pieces. So if we had some black path pieces within the actual decoration, we could create a very, very nice uh, imagery design as well, like I do with my other games sometimes. So if we come down to the path pieces and we have a look at what's available, you can see within the actual decoration itself, there's some nice walling options down there, but there's not really any dark black path pieces. And that's actually a shame, and I'm hoping that Heyday will consider this as an option in the future. The only black pieces we've really got within the game that could be useful are the actual fencing. And maybe if you stuck some of those behind one of the Tori gates, you might be able to create a darker feel to it. But again, that's going to depend on how you combine them together. If we slide on up again, there's not really anything there that could be useful. If you come back to the trees or the flowers, there's a lot of nice pieces down there again, but nothing that really has that dark aspect to it. So you're going to have to improvise if you want to make something a little bit more special or maybe more beautiful. If you're looking to put something down there maybe that is a little bit more interesting, I kind of prefer the actual dirt path pieces. They do look very nice indeed. You know, there are some other ones down there, but again, it's case by case with your decision when it comes to being creative. Right, now you saw that I actually placed down some of those little fences there. Let's show you what I mean. Now, if I move the Tory gate over in front of this, you'll see the closest I can get is literally like that. And if I bring another one up behind it as well, I end up with this kind of appearance there, which is kind of cool in some ways. And if I move the fencing out of the way, you can see by placing the fencing behind there, it does give a very, very nice pattern mix to it. Okay, let's go into the edit mode. This is going to be much easier. So let me just move this out of the way for the moment. And then I can paste this in. And with the pasting option, you got so much more flexibility there. So you can see I've added the uh, actual fencing. Now if I bring the fencing down the side, uh, like I've done here and I connect it up, 
Uh, it actually does give a very, very nice pattern indeed. So again, you've got multiple choices when it comes to creating a design if you wanted to, where you can mix these pieces in together. Now, the higher you go, the more challenge it does become with the pieces. So you might want to knock a few of those out just to switch it around. Now, again, if I use the outhouses around on this and I come in on the outside and then across the back again uh, and then down and then one out a little bit more and then come up on it like so, uh, you'll see that it is starting to create a very, very nice style gate piece as well. So there are many, many choices. Now, depending on where you place those metal fences depends on what it will let you do. So sometimes you might have to take one or two pieces away just to be able to modify it in to a certain extent that it allows you to change things around. So there we go. One little entrance style piece if you wanted to go like that. If we took away the fencing on the side, let's just use the edit mode again and just go with the black option. And then I come in with these pieces again down the side. There we go. Uh, you end up again with a very, very cool design appearance when it comes down to placing the outhouses up against it for a gorgeous doorway style entrance. And shift that one inside. And if I take away those pieces there and that one there as well, I can then come in and paste those. I'm going to have to do it this way. It doesn't always let me paste in, which is a shame. Okay, there we go. One entrance piece that you could do if you wanted for a building. Right, well, let's take that one back into storage and then we go through everything from the basics upwards. So I'm going to remove all of these pieces now. We take everything away using the edit mode. It's a lot faster and I'll take it all the way back to basics and show you some options you have for making doorways. So we take all of those away, get rid of everything there and put all of that back into storage as well. These pieces here that I'm removing are very nice for an after effect. Once you've created your basic design, then you really need to start removing the pieces that way. Right, move the lamps off to the side for the moment. We place that one over there, I think. We can take away a lot of these now as well. And shall leave one of those over off to the side and the path piece as well. And then I've got my working board. Then we can take away all of those. We we'll hide the machines as well for the moment. Just get rid of everything. Lovely. Look at that. Right, so there's my basic empty board now. And we're going to try and use all of these pieces here to make a nice little building style design. Now, you can use the machines or not based on your choice. If you don't want to, then just have your machines in their own little area, keep them tucked out of the way. Uh, and then when and um, as and when you need them, you can use them. Or if you wanted to, you can mix them into the design, which I find is very, very useful indeed sometimes. Actually, we need to bring that tree down as well. There we go. Now, where did it come from? Okay. So we're going to use one of the buildings down here with some other pieces, and then I'm going to combine it. Now, first of all, when you've got something like this, you're looking to build around it. Now, the outhouses are the toilets, and if I copy and paste this one here, it will give me all of them in the same direction. If I copy and paste this one, it will give them all to me in that direction. So please make sure that you do actually switch them around for the direction that you want when it comes to actually choosing the piece that you are looking to place down. It's okay to place down many uh, and then switch it afterwards, but if you do that, then it can be very, very tedious indeed if you wanted to move things around. So imagine them all being around the wrong way. I've then got to go in and change it and change it and change it just to make it look a little bit better. Right, now, in this case, I've got my basic building approach. There's a little bit on the outside. I'm going to come down now and take it down and down and down and down just to give my height as such. And there we go, I've got my height. Now I can start adding some of these other pieces as well, uh, giving it the thickness that I want. Yeah. And then once I've done that, you can see what I'm starting to look at here. There we go. One little partial building completed. We bring in some more of the toilets. 
And by the way, the price does increase on these as you buy more and more as well. So uh, start saving your coins. Often these designs require a lot of coinage. All right, now we've got a load of pieces over here that can be used as doorways. Now, before I go too far, I want to think about the kind of doorway that I want to add in. Do I want to go with the Torrey gates? Do I want an archway? Do I want some of the balloon or Christmassy style film? Uh, maybe I want to use one of the gazebos or the buildings that are available within the game. Okay, well, first of all, let's go with one of the actual decoration, which is this beautiful door piece over here. Now, you may or may not have it, but if you do have it, you'll see that it's actually a very, very good piece to place down next to some of these buildings. Now, if I stick one the other side as well, uh, you end up with this very, very cool effect uh, where it's just wide enough. Now, if I take that piece away from behind it, it creates a bit of a hollow inside it as well. Now, I could place one back there, which would be OK, but I don't want to. Now, if I come back on myself like this and start adding the pieces back in again, I can now then build up the thickness of my actual building that I want to do for the doorway style entrance. I can come down. Uh, which is good and then I can go up and around as well and then I can start moving these pieces into where I'd like them to be there we go lovely 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 now I'm going to come over in this direction place that over there a little bit more and then that one there as well now I was actually thinking of placing some of these other pieces inside with this as well and then seeing how that looks so we're going to be testing that today with this option as well and seeing if I can create something a little bit more interesting than I usually do okay we will sling that one over to there as well now we're coming in with an angle piece and around so we curve the roof so it matches up and then turn that as well. A couple more paste into there, I think. There we go. Let's see, how's that looking? Hmm, nah, don't like it. So I just take that out and switch it around. Let's try another one. See how that one looks. Hmm, no, don't like it. Yeah, I'm not too keen on that at all. Let's try another one. And okay, that could be a possibility possibility for later. Let's switch the machine around. Now I change the direction. Ooh, that looks a little bit more interesting. So now we place down some more houses on the inside. There we go. So we've got the doorway. We've got partial building there. Let's start bringing some more of these in and seeing how that looks. Now if we go higher and higher on this one, so we bring the gong down as well. How's that going to look? Would that look good behind or in front, I wonder? Mm -hmm. Let's try behind first of all, and then maybe in front after. Mm, no. Okay. Tweaking, tweaking, tweaking. Let's try the Torrey gate behind that one. Okay. Take away one of the outhouses there again. Bring that out the way, bring that out the way. Torrey gate goes in. Okay, that could be interesting. We come up with the house behind it. Bring that one down to there as well. Come into the side on this. Okay, there we go. Ah, where are you going? Okay, that looks better. That's starting to look good. Okay, I like that now. Right, let's turn those back around and then turn that back around as well. Come back on myself here slightly. Okay. Come in on this side here as well. And then bring that paste down to there. There we go. One little building created. I like it. And there's no more empty spaces inside which would need a piece added to it. No, I think I'm good. Okay, there we go. One little building design partially created with a interesting doorway style appearance. Now I've got pieces down here that are the wrong direction, so we've got to turn those around. That will then give me the corner of the building, so I've now got four sides to it as well, which is good. There's that piece at the back which is overhanging slightly. Now if I take that one out the way, what I can then do is use one of these wooden panels that are down here, place that there, uh, and then that gives it that cornered off piece as well. Uh, and it does look pretty good as well. Now or you can also, if you wanted to, take it out the way, oh, wrong one, move that out the way. And sometimes it's actually worthwhile sticking a different style of piece in there 
uh, just to create a kind of like a tower style point there as well like you've got there if you use these lamps uh, within the game okay around the side of your building they can actually straighten off the edges very nicely as well and if you place them in the right locations they do actually look pretty good as well you've just got to make sure that the lamp is turned in the right direction for it to give you the better feel to it there we go it straightened off my building i think that one's quite good don't you Right, very, very easy indeed. Right, now, as I said, we want to try some other doorway. So let's take these pieces away. So we've got that one to start with. We're going to remove this doorway now, place that over to there, and we're going to bring this one back in. Now, if you took away the front piece there and you went with the actual gong as well, with the Tory gate, you end up with a very wonderful design indeed. And it does look good. Uh, if I took away, as an example, some of the pieces on the inside there and switched the machines around and maybe use, let's just say, this one over here, uh, give it the more the red and the black fill. So we take away the tent, bring that in there. Now that's not going to fit in there because of the size. So I'm going to have to tweak this a little bit because of the furniture. We take that one out of the way and now we can bring it back in. Still not going to let me. We take some more pieces away for the moment. This is why moving the furniture around or the machines around can be very challenging indeed. It won't always fit in there. Oh, I lost it. Come back, switch that around. No, nope, that's not going to let me that way either. Okay, take away some of these, take away some of these. Let's make the gap larger. Bring the machine back. It not letting me do it that way. Let's try this direction. No, nope, it's still not letting me. There's still a bit of a issue there turn that sideways now we come in with that one okay it's still too big as you can see even if i try turning it it's still too big so we're going to be going higher we move those out the way we come back with these pieces here and we try a higher approach there we go now i've gone higher on this side and we turn that back down there. I can't bring that in any further. Come back in with the walls if it will let me. Yes, it will do. Turn that one there. Can I bring any more pieces back in? Yes, I can. Turn that sideways. Any more pieces? Yep. Oh, wrong one. Lovely. Can I get one more in there? Perfect. And now that looks a little bit better. So I can't get any more in there because it's now completely blocked off. Now I want to make that a little higher as well at the back. Okay, bring some more toilets over. And there we go one taller building uh, in relation to the design okay i'm going to need to add some more of these lamps in to give it the height that it needs to make it a little bit straighter now you see the lamp at the back is the perfect size for it at the moment if i then stuck a brown piece behind it uh, which i can do it blends in very nicely as well the only trouble is i can't really get that right in there uh, actually yes i can i tell a lie paste another one over there there we go that's two blocks now if you do paste more than one of those blocks in there remember as well that you end up with this curved pattern so if I went with the curved pattern in there you can see that it's changing the appearance uh, and it makes it look a little bit different and not always a good idea so if you want to what you might want to do is use a few extra blocks then that way it gives it a little bit different and if I remove those pieces out the way there and highlight it you can see where it's curved and around uh, and makes it a little bit more beneficial on the edge but there we go another doorway with some different machines on the inside much much higher indeed right taking away the doorway again let's go with one of the other pieces we we'll put those ones back into storage now down here we've actually got the crypt now the crypt is a, a nice little novel idea and you'll see there by placing the crypt behind with the toy gate behind doesn't look very good 
So what I'm going to do this time is to remove the Tory gate, stick that one over there out the way, and I'm going to try some of the other ones. So we've got the Easter decoration, which is a curved piece. But again, the angle is not quite right. So I'm going to bring that over one more. Then I'm going to bring that back. And then you end up with this kind of appearance as well, like a tunnel style effect. If I then bring the gates down on the outside on both of those pieces there, and then maybe turn it sideways, uh, depending on which direction. So if I turn it sideways on the one side, it's kind of cool. But on the other side, it does look a little bit strange. Now, it's a shame we can't actually turn them around anymore. I'd love to be able to make a conservatory-style appearance to this. Now, you can, if you wanted to, extend this down a little bit further as well. And you can bring it down in this direction. Now, if I look at those pieces and twist them back again, so here we go like this and then like this one more time. Then I come into the gap with some of these other ones and give it a little bit of a difference of a feel here. Uh, and if we look at it now, you'll see that size-wise, it's actually a bit of an imbalance to it. So, got to lose that lamp now, bring that one over into the side there. There we go and then bring that one back there. Now, if we look at it, you'll see that there's a bit of an imbalance on the side, but that's okay, because what you can do again, is again, come off with different angles and make different style buildings or uh, change the layout or the appearance. And then you can start blending in some of the other decoration as well, uh, and then coming around and creating something uh, that's more tower structure-like, where you can combine the pieces. Now, if I bring in the Halloween gate as well, the gate itself, is too wide, take a few, a few of those, slip that one down in there, then bring that piece back over there. Uh, and again, even though it's slightly off balance, it does create a very, very nice uh, design to it. If I bring it forward a little bit more, and then I bring the actual wooden pieces back on the inside, uh, and then paste that as well. Uh, not going to let me, let me do it like that. There we go. There you go, you've got a nice little entrance piece there as well. Uh, it actually does look good with the gate and it's kind of cool. Now, if I leave the archway there and take away the actual uh, bunny one there and replace it, and let's just say I use the snow one instead, I could use the snow one in the back there to give a little bit more of a Christmassy feel to it if I wanted to. Uh, again, there's also the balloons as well, which you can create a nice little archway in there going into the building again. Uh, again, there are other choices. If I took away some of these central pieces just here, uh, and left that one out, uh, what I could do is to bring in the well pieces. Now the well pieces are actually very nice as well because they have this kind of like curved or like an angled roof to it. And if you put a few of those in in the right location, they really do change up the design of a roof piece for a nice little entrance area very nicely indeed. So now you're starting to see uh, a lengthened entrance just by changing around the pieces very nicely indeed. Uh, if I remove that one out of the way, and then what I could do if I wanted to is extend off in one direction again. Now, if I'm not satisfied with the pieces I've got in the middle, which is the buildings, I can then remove the buildings as an example there. Uh, and then I can think, how do I want to make this a little bit better? Well, let's just say that I wanted to come higher on the leg. So I bring that one up higher a little bit there. And then what I could do, if I wanted a point star, I could bring in one of the gazebos into there as well. And then again, come round with the actual wells again, uh, and also with the outhouse toilets. So there we go, bring that into there. We've got a nice little roof piece option there as well, if I wanted to go in that direction, and take that one out of the way. Okay, I can't do the paste, it won't let me. I need an easier way to paste it. Change that angle, bring that into there, paste that one down, bring that into there again, and then bring the wood back. Yeah. 
There we go. And we've slightly changed it again. Now it's all about trial and error. Sometimes it looks good, sometimes it doesn't. If I think of the edge piece there, I don't like the direction these ones are going. So what I'm going to do is to change that one, place them in a different position so they actually face off in a different direction. And by just doing that, it completely changes the perception of the imagery that I'm looking at as well. I want to do the rest to make sure that they match up as well. And there we go. One modified building style again. Now I've got a bit of a gap in there, I've just noticed. So if I add the toilet piece into there, there we are. Now it looks more like a building with a beautiful entrance piece as well, and it's starting to come off very nicely indeed. Now let's just say I wanted to have another entrance in a different side. So I used the actual tent earlier, take away those out houses there, and I'm going to use the rose arch in this case. We turn that one around, and I bring that one into there. Now again, it's a shame we don't have those path pieces allowing us to come off in a different direction. Uh, but as you can see there, you get a very, very nice feel to the entrance. Uh, and it does look good. And if you bring down some path pieces into them, again, it can be very, very gorgeous indeed. What you can do if you wanted to is to switch it around. So if I brought that closer, you'll see there's a bit of an issue there for limitation. But if I switch it around, uh, you do get a nice feel. Trouble is, it actually doesn't butt up against it. So again, it's trial and error looking for the best combination. Uh, and they don't have to be right up next to each other. Uh, again, it's all differences. If I bring down the square, this one here, and stick that one in there as well, removing away this piece, there we go. You end up with a nice little angled roof. I could bring this arch piece in there again, come down with the toilet on this side and on this side. And there we go. A nice little building coming off with a doorway and a different entrance again. So, so many choices, so many options. You may think, oh my God, these are ugly. That is okay. Okay. Uh, at the end of the day, this is just showing you some tips and suggestions for doorway style entrances. All right, let's take away those pieces there and we'll break this one back down again. Let's go with the simplified option one more time. And take away these ones here, come back on ourselves, and then that one there. Right now, I'm going to remove those pieces there, get rid of the wells again, and take away the gazebos and the well pieces. There we go. They've all gone. Lovely. Okay, get rid of all of that as well. Right now, we've got trees down there. Now, I do like trees within the game, and I find trees do create very nice patterns as well. And again, if you're looking to make a nice doorway, you do actually have the options of using trees within your design as well. And they can actually give you a very, very nice imagery as well. Now, you'll see that I put the trees down there, smack into the center for the moment. Yeah, let's remove that one out of the way, stick that back into storage. We bring that over to there, that over to there at the main. Let's go bring one of those buildings back down. So I bring the building back into that area there. Okay, it's got a nice curved root fill to it. I can't really get into there uh, because of the tables itself. Now the trees are blocking that whole area there, which is very nice. But by bringing the buildings down into this location, making them a little tighter like that, I actually do create a very nice feeling to this as well. So we bring that building back over into there, turn it sideways like that for the moment. I can place another one in there if I wanted to, but again, I don't need to. Have that one in that direction, turn that one around so it's facing the same way. Now, I've got my doorway style entrance there again, and I think, okay, what else could I bring into this? Well, there is the Chinese gazebo that we got the other day. And that one actually does go in very, very nicely indeed. Bring up some pieces against the side of it, and it does look wonderful indeed. And I'd like that one. If I move the tree down one, so I create an angle tree style approach, you end up with a nice little building going into the back there as well. If I take away those bottom pieces there, there we go. Look at that. Doesn't that actually look good? 
Now you're seeing here as well, the tree actually overhangs on the far side. Now what I can do is remove that overhang by bringing some of these pieces back into it as well. Now, it's not necessary to do that, but it does again allow you to blend in and to be a little bit more creative. So there we go, one little tree with the actual Chinese gazebo mixed in as well and very nice. Now let's just say I wanted to come off onto the side on this one and make this building longer with a nice little dog leg on it. Same situation, I can just bring it down and around and maybe if I wanted to I might want to add in some more trees on that one um, just to give it a nice little feel to it and to make the building look a little bit more on the larger side and maybe more interesting. So mixing and matching your trees and the buildings and the gate style pieces together again is very interesting. Now, I took away a load of path pieces earlier. Now the path pieces, you can bring those back in. Uh, and again, by doing that, you do give it the option of looking more breathtaking. So let's go back to the path pieces and we're gonna come down here. Maybe we're looking at the stone path pieces, which is kind of like matching up on this. They go very nicely against that. Yeah, and then if I change the next one on a nice little flower path and bring that flower path down there as well, I could add in a few flower path pieces down there if I've got enough laid out. Most of mine are gone now. If you wanted to, you could also go with the brown as well on a nice path piece in them. Again, that would give it a nice fill. If I took away those ones there and I moved the brown over, it actually extends it very nicely. But like I said, be very careful by adding more brown in there because it does damage the way that it looks. So if you're going to add in different path pieces, uh, try to change the color scheme. So instead of using just brown, maybe mix in a white there as well, then go with the brown again. And then you end up with a different kind of pattern in there, which could be beneficial if you wanted it to go in the way that would look wonderful for your design. There we go, one little curved piece. How does that look? And then I can place more trees around the outside. I've got my nice little entrance area there as well. Uh, if I decided to make it a little bit more beautiful, uh, maybe a little bit more comfortable, look at that one. There we go. Take that piece out of the way as well. Bring that one into there. Go with a diagonal feel to it. Yeah, I like this. That looks good. Okay. And the two brown pieces into the edge. There we go. And then again, you can modify it like so. Be creative, everybody. Now, hopefully, I'll start to see more and more of your designs where you're using the pieces. You've got lots of decoration options available within the game. You know, as you start becoming more comfortable with using the edit mode or literally just decorating, um, be very creative with your designs. Uh, add new path pieces, trees and bushes and greenery to it. Make it look more special and make it look as though you had a lot of fun with it. And let's get some other trees down in this one. Let's finish off with a nice little design. Right. I'm going to have to stop soon anyway, I've got to go back to work. Right, there we are, I'll bring some of the orange ones around there, break up the base on the piece just there. I'm tempted to put some wall pieces on this one as well, so let me go back and get some wall pieces. What would be a good wall on this one? Maybe the Chinese lantern fence would be good down there. If I had enough of those pieces, that could be kind of cool. There we go. That could be interesting indeed. Trouble is that one covers up too much there, but I like it. If I had some other pence pieces, I could bring those down and around. I wonder if I bring the outhouses into there and outhouses into there as well. Hmm, that could be kind of cool. Bring that straight up on that side. Oh, I like that. I like the way that one's starting to come along. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Yeah, I could dig that for the town. Imagine if I put one of my town buildings inside there. My visitors would walk into that. And that would be wonderful. Okay, nice little bit of water around the outside, I think. 
got to have some water within the design. Yeah, absolutely. And then maybe having a little river coming up there for later, which I could then tweak into this. And then maybe bring my water down and around. A little bit of a uh, fencing again, or maybe flowers on the other side. Let's have a look. What do I have left? I think most of my flowers are down now, aren't they? Let's have a shifty. Flowers, flowers, flowers. Do I have anything left that would be good? Mm, okay, got ice plants. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, I could enjoy this one. Nice little ice plants in there, mixed in as well. Yeah, this could be good. Mm. Oh, I could have so much fun with this. Okay, I think you've got a rough idea of what I'm starting to do here, everybody. I'm using the fencing. I'm using the outhouses. I'm making some nice entrance pieces. I use the trees and the bushes. Creativity is fun. And hopefully this video gave you some good ideas and some good tips and suggestions. Give it a go. And if you do, send me a screenshot of your design that you've created. I would love to see it. Yeah, there is a wonderful 10th uh, birthday coming up very soon for Supercell. And the more imagery that I can see from you guys would actually be a lot of fun indeed. I spent about uh, five hours the other day creating my tent design with all of my trees and my little areas as well. As you can see, all of my decorations mixed in. Didn't do any buildings this time, uh, but I did use a lot of the trees and other bits. I like to decorate my town as well, and I'll be giving it back to that another time. But either way, I will see you in my next video. You take care, have fun, and don't forget to like and subscribe and give me your comments about adding doorways or changing the buildings around. See ya.